she ran with McCain, ran Alaska, of course, has been talking a lot lately, and Sweet Freedom is the new book from former Alaska Governor Sarah Payne. And now, five good minutes. A lot to cover. We'll get into faith. We'll get into some things you've written about in the book. I want to get to 2016. And ISIS, first of all, your time is valuable. Thank you. Sweet Freedom is the book. Sarah Palin, thank you for your time. Good morning. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you so much. I appreciate getting to speak with you, Bill. And speaking of time, I've read some about the new book. It's called Sweet Freedom, a devotional. And time is so precious, isn't it? It is so precious. I think it's our greatest resource. We'd better not blow it. Uh, you have put together, though, uh, a, a few starters, shall we say. Talk about quiet time, devotional, what, what, what it means to you. Uh, what this means is that uh, God has thankfully given us every single answer that we need in facing the collective challenges that we have as a nation and individually. I mean, these tumultuous times, we live in a worried world, Bill, and people are looking for um, answers that people are asking all the time. Hey, what we're doing doesn't seem to be working uh, to allow us to be a safe and sovereign nation. Who's going to show us? Who's going to tell us where the answers are? And lo and behold, they're all spelled out for us, so specifically even in the Old and New Testament. So I'm just pointing people to that perfect blueprint on how to how to do it right. You know, as a fellow believer, it, it is amazing, though, how many of us, and I say us, overlook the Old Testament. There are some of the greatest stories ever told there, and of course it all, for us believers, believe that it would lead one day to Jesus. That's right. And the, and the Old Testament even warns us that, say, Christians are going to be persecuted, or believers are going to be persecuted. And um, those who have faith in their Creator, you better get ready for it, buck up, or stay in the truck. And don't just uh, sit there wallowing in any kind of emotional pain that we uh, were persecuted today, but do something about it. Uh, God doesn't drive parked cars, and He expects us to take <laughs> action with the things that He's equipped us with. So a lot of the book that narrative is written in two calls to action sarah palin is with me the book sweet freedom a, a devotional all right two minutes here left w with you let's get into some of the, the the meat of the day if you will though you know as you and i are talking i'm thinking a third of people listening are, are believers and they're shaking their head right on this is fabulous a third may be doubting and they want to look at a third though really doubt what we're talking about and to the extreme that plays out a bit with what we're talking about with 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 islam nowadays you know well, it is. I mean, the, the radical Islams are, are, are the antithesis, of course, of uh, life and the sacredness of God's creation and uh, loving life more than death. It's a death cult that they're all wrapped up in, and it, it's perverted. And things on this earth are either from God above or they're from the enemy. And obviously, ISIS and, and this radicalism, that is not from God. That that's those are demonically inspired actions that are being taken right now. And uh, you know, I don't care if anybody tries to beat me up for saying such a thing. It's it's very true. Um, thankfully, though, we can overcome. We can be protected, and we can uh, keep our head on a pillow at night, restfully, peacefully, and even joyfully, when we know that God's got this. You know, it, it things are, are predicted in the Word, Old and New Testament, and at the very very end of the word, it tells us that, no, ultimately, we win. Politics. A lot of people are nervous about the, uh, the, the list, the people on stage on the GOP side. How about you? Well, they shouldn't be nervous because there we get to wrap it all up there in Cleveland, don't we, in 2016. And it's, it's going to be a great convention where through the uh, very competitive primary, which is so good for our republic, um, the cream of the crop will rise to the top and we'll get a fighter for America on the GOP side as opposed to the other side of the ticket where it's just more of the same. It's a, it's, there's no diversity anymore in the Democrat Party. It's just a bunch of grumpy old white guys and gals that will be, um, you know, part of their primary, obviously. So thankfully, we have a competitive primary, and uh, we'll get a fighter for America. And that person will be revealed in Cleveland, Ohio in 2016. We're looking forward to hosting it. You know, finally, th there are two extremes. There there's Trump and where he talks, but then also, Governor, on the on the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders. Look, look how far right and left these two campaigns are. I know. I, I yeah. you know you know what's refreshing about Bernie though, and I respect at least he's 
an avowed socialist. He doesn't hide it. You know, it's like, hey, that's refreshing. Usually politicians, they're spinning and bobbing and weaving so that they can't have a label, an accurate label like that slapped on them. More power to Bernie, the goofball, for uh, at least calling it like he sees it. The book is Sweet Freedom. She calls it like she sees it. Sarah Palin, thanks for the time. You are awesome. Thanks so much, girl.